Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a look at some of the uh, Kickstarter uh, bonuses for Old School Tactical Volume 2 uh, from Flying Pig Games. These are some of the special things that we got as Kickstarter backers that you can, I believe, buy most of these from the Flying Pig Games store. So, uh, hence the purpose of showing you kind of a quick overview of what you're going to get. The first one here is the Airborne um, uh, expansion, which adds, uh, I believe... 101st, yes, the 82nd and the 101st Airborne to, uh, to Old School Tactical. All right, so let's take a look at what you get in here. This has got another uh, large map. It's like one counter sheet and a scenario book. So I'm excited about this one as well. Old School is a great system because it's old school. It's not new school. It's not newfangled. It's not a Euro game. It's not a Euro war game. It is a war game, so it'll be old school variety. Again, big box, I'm gonna turn it sideways so we can get inside of it. I would actually wish, you know, just print this way, you know, print the way you're gonna, gonna open it, but it's cool that way too, so let's take a look. All right, we got the scenario book. Now this only contains six scenarios and they're A1 through A6 for Airborne. All right, just like the base game. Very clear, kind of a glossy paper. Thinner paper than the rule book. But as an expansion, this is not going to include a rule book. You're going to have to use your rule book for, uh, for Old School Tactical Volume 2. One sheet of counters. Again, the nice, well, that one just fell out. Nice, easy punch. Uh, pre rounded, good quality, nice thickness counters. I've got planes in this one, which is awesome. It's just C47. Okay. So that's cool. To get one sheet of counters and a map. Another big map board. These map boards are huge. So let's crank this open and see what's inside of it. Man, they're hard to open. You gotta like be really careful because you don't wanna you don't wanna rip them the wrong way, right? So let's put that down and then get that open. Snag our technology here. All right, so it's going to have some more, more of an urban center to it. Um, same great quality that we've come to expect now from Flying Pig. All right, so this is the Saint Mary Eglise, and uh, this is a countryside. We got some, we got a town here. The airborne's going to come in. Kind of interesting having six scenarios for this one map, but uh, but it's very cool. So if you get the airborne expansion, you're going to get the big map. You're going to get you're going to get one sheet of counters, which includes some additional markers, some additional units. Um, obviously you're adding the airborne, the Germans are already on the ground, so you're getting a few more German units, but mostly uh, the airborne counters. Easy punch, nice quality, and you're going to get one scenario book with six scenarios, A1 through A6. So that is what is in airborne. Offboard mats. And if you watch my video on Old School Tactical Volume 2, you'll, you'll see the comparison I did, but let's show them here. These are made of mouse pad material. And their function is to allow you to track off board. So you got the board set up and then these can be, especially if you're playing solo, it's good to have this uh, information closer at hand than around the other side of the board. The downside is they're huge. They are huge. So while I appreciate that uh, uh, I may have in some way inspired these with my, uh, my off board tracking, this is what you would need for both sides. The space about two feet or so and um, this is the one I designed and it still works for uh, uh, old school tactical uh, volume two just do Germans Americans use the brown or you know I can make another one but it's not really that important I don't put any logos on here so uh, I don't know I think I think these are these are probably just gonna end up I don't know where. Uh, 
probably just in the box somewhere. And I hate that because they just spent a lot of money making them, but I wish they had just planned ahead and made, when they announced them, I thought it was going to be great. It was going to be one small, you know, thing made of neoprene. It would be really awesome. Take up less space, but instead it's like, it's just huge. It's like way more than, way more than necessary. So anyway, enough complaining. They're very beautiful and they're printed very nicely. They're back printed. They're not identical. They have a German, uh, German tank and an American tank. Um, Got a space for your destroyed units. Somebody did ask for that here, but I didn't, I didn't have room for it. And then you got your uh, impulse roll modifier here, which happens uh, when you have so too many casualties. Uh, you lose, you automatically lose a certain number of impulse points. Every five, you lose one. Uh, and I, there was no way to mark that here, but uh, it was a minor issue because uh, it is marked uh, here. So you can kind of keep track of it and just divide by five. So it, was a, it really was a minor issue, so. Um, okay, so those are the pads. I believe you can order those if you have a huge table, which I do not. Um, so again, these will probably uh, go go somewhere. One thing you could do with them uh, is uh, use them as a mouse pad, <laughs> a really large mouse pad, which would be really cool. Uh, or you can make a dice tray out of them. One thing I've seen uh, with too many bones is they're selling a neoprene mouse pad and they put clips right here and here on neoprene. So you could actually clip these together and make yourself a, a mouse pad, of, I mean a dice tray if you wanted to. But that's what you'll get if you order that expansion. This is the version 2 strategy guide. It's um, basically a book to help teach you how to be better at Old School Tactical. Uh, this, this came out with uh, uh, Old School Tactical Volume 1 uh, as a Kickstarter uh, extra. This might not be available for download uh, or sale, um, so I don't want to show you too much. But uh, if you're if you're waiting the Kickstarter, if you can pick up a copy, then uh, this kind of it's on uh, glossy paper, a lot of examples, a lot of gameplay examples of uh, you know tackling tough defenders, what you can do to do things, so on and so forth. So uh, definitely worth a look see if you can get a copy. All right. So this is new with uh, version two, and this was a stretch goal. Um, and what this is is some miniature battles. You don't get any, as far as I recall, you don't get any actual units with this. You get smaller maps and um, scenarios for those maps. So instead of having to break out the big board every time you want to play, you can just load the counters you need into the baggie and take it with you. Right? And you got a scenario book. And there are some maps here. And these are glossy. And they are the same map with winter and spring scenarios. They are geomorphic. I don't know if any of the scenarios use them geomorphically. Right, but they'll go together to create one map. Or you may play independently. Or you may play them side by side. Or you may play where, you know, global warming has changed the side, but not the side, if you believe that stuff. So, you get two maps and you get Pocket Battles uh, uh, scenario book. And these are basically just, these are P1 through, one thing I like is they've added the index. This is P1 through P4. They're just four simple battles that play on here. Uh, this uses pocket map one, pocket map two. I bet there's just one for each. Yep, pocket map one and two. No, they do stack them here. And pocket map one and two. Okay. So you get four scenarios to play on these little pocket maps. So that are some of the those are some of the Kickstarter extras that you get if you ordered them some of these may be available eventually online time will tell so we looked at the uh, pocket battles the strategy guide the uh, the large tracking mats and the old school tactical airborne expansion those are optional expansions thanks so much for watching god bless you have a great day bye bye Oh!